Hey guys, welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmor. This is gonna be video number eight and we're gonna be talking about the Prism. So let's go to a default patch and get everything fresh. So Prism is located in the middle of the synth on the far left-hand side right here, this little box area here. So before we dive into it, let's take a listen of what it sounds like. So very strange sounding. Now, if we noticed, as we turn the knobs, these partials or harmonics actually start to bend and detune. If we go to the left, it goes to the opposite direction. And this plus mode and minus mode is kind, kind of think of it as a more intense effect. So if we put it on times, it's gonna sound really weird, really fast. And one thing to notice is that the fundamental does not change. This is only going to be bending the harmonics. And below that, there's going to be three buttons here. It says from vol. Now, when it's on this dash here, that means there's no effect. And this plus here is going to indicate the louder a harmonic volume is, the more prism effect is going to apply. And then the next one is inverted. So a good way to demonstrate that, let's go to our... Uh, timbre one harmonic level and let's go all the way to the right and let's drag this node all the way to the bottom now let's just make a sine wave for now by clicking this here and bringing this all the way down so now we have a sine wave so just one fundamental and if we zoom in here and let's create a, another partial about here or harmonic here so now we have two and let's create another one maybe here so we have three so a fundamental and then two up here now, these are all at the same volume because this vertical is going to determine the volume of these partials or harmonics. So when we zoom out, we notice they're all the same and we do the prism. It affects these first two. Now, if we have this one substantially louder, let's uh, bring this down just in case a little bit more. It's going to have a much more effect because this is louder. Now, a good way to kind of show this as well, so let's put this all the way to the top. Let's right click the amount and go to Edit Articulator and let's get an LFO on this and have it keep moving. Let's turn this down even more. It's not as, as important to hear a bit more, to, more so to see it. Okay, let's go like this. So now we're back in our timbre. So we're taking a look at this second harmonic right here, or this technically first harmonic. As we bring it down, it gets less intense and less intense. And then the second one here is going to be the inverted. So this one we just talked about, the louder a harmonic is, the more prism effect is going to take place. The next one is going to be the quieter a harmonic is, the more the prism is going to take effect. So let's bring this one down back here down to the same volume. And as we bring it even past up here, it kind of almost stops having that effect. Kind of just flat lines there. So that's what those knobs do in a nutshell there. So a couple things to more talk about this prism, make it even a little bit cooler. So we right click this and we have the articulators to, to kind of automate how we want this, uh, this amount to move with all the typical ones we've talked about before. And the really cool part is if we click here in this prism amount and then we go to the harmonic prism, we see this squiggly sine wave line, which is kind of telling this section here. So we can delete all this here and then go have a flat line here. And then this prism is now off. So we can click maybe here, and if we look on our tooltip here, when we go to the left and then to the right, it's going to count in octaves. So that's kind of how you know what this graph is doing. Now as I'm moving this, you can kind of see this shape here is reflected here. Or if I brought this down and maybe did something kind of, let's do like three or four or something, let's do three here. It's kind of high up on the spectrum. Let's drag this over here a little bit. So basically this graph is kind of telling you how to how this prism is going to affect the different partials. So it's very cool to spend some time with this uh, with this graph because you can make something pretty cool. Let's go to two. Let's kind of bring this back up a little bit. And 
And then if you want it a little bit less intense, you can go back to the plus. So you can make very cool sounds with that prism knob. You don't have to use it as its default with the, with the same graph because it's a cool effect maybe for something kind of scary. But other than that, if you don't really mess with the graph, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, oh, that's cool for once, but how can I implement this into my uh, patches? Because it, you would think it only has one type of sound and people are like, oh, that's obviously the prism, but you can have a lot more control of it than you really do. Maybe even some rubber distortion. Definitely a lot of possibilities for sound effects as well. And even the graph over here looks wild. So that's kind of prism in a nutshell. Hopefully that kind of maybe demystified it or cleared it up a little bit. It's a very cool effect, but you kind of do have to spend some time in the graphs and really, really figure out how you want it to sound and what harmonics you want it to, to affect. There's a lot of weird, weird kind of ways to do that as well. So let's kind of erase this all over again. And let's do, let's, let's maybe do some... Let's see, let's do maybe smooth stairs or something like that. So definitely play around the prism because it can be really cool. So thank you for watching. That's the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one.